What's up geeks, my name is Nick and welcome back to A to Z Geek. On today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to replace the broken LCD from a laptop. What's up guys, so uh, here we are with the uh, laptop and uh, this is a client's computer. They, uh, as you can see, have some pretty heavy damage on the top there and they asked me to replace the monitor. So today what we're going to be working on is a Toshiba Satellite C55B5298. I know that's a pretty specific model, but uh, um, most of the Toshibas should be similar. So there might be some differences for you, but in general, most of the computers are dismantled the same way. Um, I got the uh, replacement screen from a place called LaptopScreen.com out of Seattle, Washington, which is oddly enough my, my home base or my... Uh, where I was born. So uh, I, before we get started, I just want to go through a few things that you need to make sure you've got all the tools that you need for the repair. First thing is obviously a laptop that's uh, broken and needs to have the screen repair. Second thing is going to be some sort of a multi-tool kit or at least a, a nice selection of, uh, of, of Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. Um, sizes are going to vary depending on the model of the computer. So just make sure you have a nice selection. Uh, I have a kit just like this one. Uh, third thing you're going to need is a plastic card or a, uh, like a business card or uh, something that's heavy duty plastic that you can use to um, to, to remove the, sh uh, the shroud around the monitor. And the last thing is obviously a uh, replacement screen. So um, like I said before, you can get that from laptopscreen.com. Uh, their shipping was pretty fast. I think I got it in three or four days and no problems at all. It was very well packaged uh, and uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, first thing you want to do is get all your tools together and make sure everything is laid out correctly. Uh, second thing you want to do is make sure that the uh, computer is turned off. In most cases, you also want to take the battery out as well because there's still going to be um, power running to it. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and remove this uh, screen guard. Every laptop is going to have one of these. Um, some will have little rubber stoppers on the corners that uh, are hiding screws. So if you've got little round ones that look like they could fit a screw under them, make sure you pry those up. If they're just these little tiny rectangular uh, ones, more than likely those are just rubber stoppers and those won't have any kind of screws behind them. So in my case, I didn't have any screws on it, but I had really, really pesky plastic uh, uh, clips. Um, these plastic clips are really prone to breaking, so you just need to be really careful. So what you're going to need for this uh, first thing is uh, your gift card or uh, plastic card that I told you to find in the beginning of the video. And all you're going to do is you're going to find your spot um, under like a corner or, um, or around the side that you can get the card into. So when you drag the card up, you'll feel it stop when it gets to one of those little plastic bumpers. And all you're going to do is just push and it's going to unclip that. And you're going to do that around the whole thing until the whole thing comes up. So you're going to snap, snap, snap. There's probably about three or four on the sides and about four or five on the top. Just be really careful because uh, once you get up here towards the webcam, there's actually cables and stuff that you can damage. So just be really careful with it. Take your time with this. You uh, don't have to rush through it. There's no reason to. If you rush through it, I guarantee you will break this this shroud and you'll have a hell of a time getting a new one. Um, there's also pop uh, rivets or pop plastic areas in these uh, hinges here. So they're split, one half is on the bottom, one half is on the top, but the, only, the top part is the only part that comes with the shroud. So um, I've already gotten the liberty of taking all these out, so we're just gonna go ahead and remove this shroud so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and what I'm talking about is these little plastic uh, hooks right here. And man, let me tell you, they are a pain. Uh, it took me a long time to, to uh, get this, this, this off. And uh, there's a really high risk for damaging this stuff. So you just have to be really careful and just take your time and make sure that you do it right. So as you can see on the back here, there isn't any cabling or anything like that. So you don't have to worry so much about that. It's the actual cabling up here and down here that you have to worry about and not you know, run the risk of clipping one of these and taking it off because no matter of replacing the screen is going to help you with that. So uh, now that we got this off, what you need to do is get your, uh, uh, your screwdriver. Make sure you've got the right bit on it. 
Okay, so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get your screwdriver. Make sure you got the right bit on it that fits uh, the screws that are around the side. And you're going to just start taking everything off. On this particular model, what you're going to need to remove is these three screws down in the left-hand corner, these three screws on the right-hand corner, one screw at the top, and one screw on the left. You're also going to need to remove the ribbon cables. So the, the one that's really going to uh, stall you on the beginning is going to be the webcam one up here. It's just a... Uh, um, I don't know the correct term for it, but it's just a plug, uh, a plug cable. So it plugs directly into that little black thing and it's got a piece of tape at the top that sticks it there. So all you're going to do is just pull that out and unstick it like I've already done here. And you should be fine. Just be very careful not to damage that cable because it would be easy to damage. So let's go ahead and remove those screws. And make sure you've got a place to put your screws. Um, so that you don't lose them. In my case, uh, I've got a pretty clean table here, so I'm just going to stack them up together. Uh, it gets really confusing when you've got a lot of screws that are all different sizes, so just be really careful with that and make sure that you're not, uh, um, that, that, that you're not uh, confusing the screws so that when you go to put it back in with the new screen, you know exactly which size screws to put where. <laughs> and don't lose your screws like I almost just did. Oh, okay. So <laughs> that won't happen uh, if, uh, if you still have this ribbon cable attached. That'll put all that pressure on the back there. Um, so if you have that removed, you should be able to now uh, pull the screen away from... Uh, or pull the back away from the screen. Um, the other thing you do want to look out for is down here there's a cable here and it's kind of stuck on with some some tape and the tape is very tacky so you just kind of have to get in there and lift it up and that should be it, that should fall away. Um, there's also another cable right down here on the left hand side you just want to be really careful. There's also another piece of sticky there that holds that cable in place. So just be careful uh, and look around the side to make sure that you're not ripping on or pulling on any of the cables because uh, that's going to be a big deal for you. Um, so, uh, second thing, or uh, sorry, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the screen here from the housing. Um, the housing is this metal area here that kind of holds it to what what this is. It holds it to the uh, to the hinges of the computer. So you want to take those off next. So on this particular model, there's going to be uh, one, two, three screws on the left, three screws on the right. And this doesn't look like any screws on the bottom or the top. So let's go ahead and remove those screws now. You're going to need a smaller bit for that, at least on this model of computer. So let me go get that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back again. I got my smaller bit here. Uh, here are the screws here. Uh, so like I said, three on this side and three on the other side. So let's go ahead and remove those screws. Put those aside. They should be pretty distinctly different screws between the ones that you removed on the front and the ones on the side. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about keeping them organized because they won't look exactly the same. They are different sizes as well and different colors. Oops. Probably don't want to do that. So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, uh, make sure that uh, you've got some support on the back there. Um, e like I said before, each laptop's different, so it's hard to tell when... Uh, when uh, 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 you know what what's going to happen with the laptop when you're taking it apart because each laptop's got its own way of kind of coming apart. So uh, let's go ahead and flip it around to the back before we do our other side and make sure that we remove any of the ribbon cables or anything that are connected to the computer. So um, I'm going to readjust the camera here and I'll be right back. Guys, so first thing you're going to want to do is remove this uh, ribbon cable up here that we removed in the first step. So you're just going to be really careful and take the sticky off and then kind of just lay it down before we uh, continue on with the repair, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and remove the, this ribbon cable here. You need to be really careful because they're very fragile. So what we're going to do is just take this little plastic film, if yours has it, and we're just going to peel it back ever so slightly. And you're going to see that there's actually a ribbon cable attached here. 
These things are very, very fragile. You really need to be very careful with these. I recommend if you have fingernails, you just use your fingernails, but if you don't, you can use some, some, some sort of a, a flathead tool or anything. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna very carefully pop this down and out of its, uh, out of its uh, little connector here. It will come out. Just be very careful and very slow. There we go, it's out. And that's how you disconnect that. So uh, now you can just uh, pull up the, uh, the sticky to remove the ribbon cable. Again, be very, very careful. Uh, you don't have to be so careful with the, uh, with the uh, monitor itself. Just be really careful with the, uh, the connector because the connector is connected to the computer still. And regardless of whether you're getting a new monitor or not, you're still going to need that connector. All right, guys, so uh, since now we've gotten all the sticky stuff removed from the monitor on here, everything is kind of unstuck and the monitor is sort of uh, separated from where it is. So last part, we're going to take um, our original uh, smaller screw, screw uh, set down and go ahead and take the last uh, three bolts off of the side. So let's go ahead and do that now. You want to kind of keep a hand on it because uh, after these come out, the monitor is pretty much just going to fall out. So. Just make sure you got a hand on it. And hopefully that should be it. Let's go ahead and, like I said before, you've got some sticky stuff on the bottom here. Just make sure you be careful disconnecting all the sticky stuff from there. And that's it. Your monitor's out. So as you can see, got the monitor out. Looks pretty crazy, huh? Um, and then uh, now what we're going to do is basically just do all that in reverse. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on uh, putting the new one in. OK, guys, so I'm just going to try and keep rolling on this one. I'm going to do it one wide shot since we kind of already gone through it already. And you already know kind of how everything should go. So. First things first, um, if you've got, so on this one, you'll notice uh, my uh, customer opted for the matte version, um, which uh, should function the same as the glossy version, which was what was on the laptop previously. Um, actually, I think that's a really cool feature of uh, laptopscreen.com to offer a glossy and a, a matte version. The customer was actually kind of kind of surprised that you could do that. but. Uh, um, but anyway, um, just make sure you remove the screen protector. Um, you don't really need to remove the screen screen protector. The only issue is, is that once you've got it into these into this frame here, um, you're not going to really be able to uh, take the screen protector off. So I suggest you just do that right off the bat to save yourself some grief later. So first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and uh, reattach uh, the screws that we took off of the sides. So let's go ahead and do that now. It does take some kind of finessing around here to make sure. Uh, but once you've got one in, you should be pretty well off. Make sure, unlike me, that you've got your screwdriver in the right hand to start. Yeah, so now once you've got one in, it should make your job a lot easier. Go ahead and uh, do the rest here. You don't have to be so careful with this right now because it's not really in a fra that fragile of a state. But Okay, guys. So we back. We're back. We flipped it around. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, reattach the back here. So uh, as you can see, uh, this cable at the top is a little off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that, bring it back over here, which is about kind of where it goes. You can actually just like snap it back in, and that would probably just save you a lot of grief. So I'm gonna. So as you can see here, I just kind of was off a little bit with it. So. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try and uh, 
get the tape off the top of this connector so I can get it slid in there. There we go. So yeah, just take your time, kind of snap that back in there and then put that tape back where it goes and then try and push on the back there and kind of get your, uh, your webcam cable in the right place. So at this point you should pretty much have everything reconnected cable wise. So right now it's just a matter of uh, putting everything back together so that the computer can be booted up. Um, so just make sure like down here where you also had some tape stuff with the, uh, watching the cables, make sure you get that cable back up in there so that everything is just kind of situated because what you don't want is you don't want the last minute uh, the cable not to fit. Or you don't want the screen to be able to close or something like that. So just go ahead and get that tape back in there. Get this tape back in there. Nice and lined up, good. Everything's good. That's pretty much it. Now we're just going to go ahead and reattach, reattach the screws. All right guys, so you should have all your screws on and everything should be attached the way they are. Make sure you get your three bottom right ones, three bottom left ones, and your two at the top here. You shouldn't have any screws left at this point, so if you do, you do you've missed a step and you need to go back. Uh, at this point, it would be a good time for you to recheck all of your connections, make sure everything is good. Uh, make sure all the sticky th cable holders are holding everything down. Make sure your webcam is connected. And uh, go ahead and put the battery back in and uh, fire her up to make sure everything is connected right. And this is something you should do before you put the shroud back on because um, I'm sure by, the, by now you realize that shroud is a pain in the butt. So I've already put the battery back in here. I'm going to fire it up for the first time. Yeah. Functioning. I'll see you guys in a minute uh, when we get everything uh, reassembled. Hey okay, guys, so here we are back. Uh, I'm just going uh, putting the shroud back on. So really, you're just going to line it up, and uh, it should snap right back on. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I did have kind of a scare, uh, and one thing you should know is that uh, when you unplug uh, the uh, monitor itself, um, it is going to have uh, um, some resolution differences because you've unplugged the actual ribbon cable. So. If you get the, the boot up in BIOS and everything looks good and stuff, you should be fine. Don't, don't fret. But you just need to go into your uh, resolution panel. Um, it, anyway, when, you, when, the, when the computer starts up, you're going to need to adjust the brightness. So I'll show you what it was like when I, first, uh, when I first did it. So that's what it looked like when I first started up. And I was like, oh, no, the backlight died. Um, but indeed, it did not. Uh, it was just the uh, brightness was all the way down. So turn the brightness all the way up. Um, and then you're also going to notice that it'll it'll reset the uh, resolution. So you just need to have the resolution set to the proper resolution for the screen. In my case, it's 1366 by 768 in landscape mode. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, go ahead and snap your your guards back on. Um, after after you get everything kind of put back together, it would be a really good time to uh, clean the computer up and make sure that uh, your client's getting a, a nice clean computer. So uh, yeah, that should do it. Well guys, that'll do it for today. If you've been following along with us, you should have a brand new LCD inside of your laptop. If you have any comments or suggestions on how I can make my videos better, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and come back next time for another awesome video. See you guys later.